Are you ready? Wait, just wait. Give me a piece of chocolate because I'm really starving. Hi, everyone. Well, I'm here with my husband, Aaron. Uh, I'm here in his man cave because, as I've mentioned before, I have bed bugs. And, um, well, having bed bugs has turned out to be pretty, pretty great, actually. <laughs> First of all, I, I, it forced me to clean my apartment, and in the process, I found my coin collection, uh, the keys to the safety deposit box that had been missing for like a year, plus two gift certificates, and a check for $147. So not only did it force me to do a spring cleaning, which was much needed anyway, but it's turned out to be quite profitable, actually. When I had the bug man come to spray upstairs, I decamped. And I came down here to the man cave to kind of camp out, you know, to avoid being poisoned. And then after spending only one night here, I realized that Aaron also has bed bugs. Big time. Because my son had bites on him. So now I'm going to have to clean Aaron's place too. Which is just as well because it needs a cleaning. I probably got the bed bugs from you actually. Your whole floor is infested. Well, you got them first. No, you already had them. You just didn't know. But how did we not notice that you had bed bugs? I don't know. I wasn't getting bitten. We didn't realize at first that Aaron had bed bugs, but that's probably because we were, we were so focused on the roaches that we didn't even notice. <laughs> we have roaches too. Yeah, you didn't know. No. The weird thing is that we haven't actually seen any bed bugs. You notice? Well, yeah, I have noticed that, yeah. I'm starting to believe you don't have any. This I'm is still just uh, like a um, mind control program to get us to unite as a family. I thought they wanted the opposite. I don't know if it's a mind control program, but something is very strange because I've been looking and I haven't found any. I'm starting to feel almost a little disappointed. Wait, are you. You didn't see any bed bugs? No. Where are they? I gotta flip this one over. Do you see any bugs? No. No. I vacuumed and I went under the mattress. I thought I'd for sure I'd find a whole colony under there and nothing. Ah, I don't see them! I don't see them! No, it's not a bug. It's not a bug! What is it? It's not a bug! Woo, it's hot in here! So my life has been kind of upended by the bed bugs. I mean, I have to do a lot of cleaning, so I had to cancel my radio show last week, and I'm going to have to cancel it this week. Because on top of the bed bugs, our son is also out of daycare for the week. So I don't know if I'll have much time for vlogging or really anything, but it's kind of good because we're spending a lot of time together. Yeah. Having bed bugs has been, you know, good for our relationship because it's kind of given us an opportunity to reconnect. The, the bed bugs have kind of turned my life upside down, but I, I feel sort of like I'm on vacation, you know? You always, you always feel like you're on vacation. <laughs> she's always looking at the bright side of everything, and uh, she's not a real cheesy person or anything. She sees the dark side of things, but she prefers to be happy, you know, and, and live her life accordingly. Pretty magical. She ends up being pretty happy and always feeling like she's on vacation. <laughs> well, you're like that too. We're both like that. Yeah, I'm we're a well bit. aware of the dark side, but I guess we just keep a sense of humor about things. But I'm having a bed bug vacation. The bed bugs have completely turned my life upside down. My whole routine is broken. Normally, I work like a dog. My son's in daycare. I don't see my husband very much. My place is a mess. And I don't know where my keys are to my safety deposit box or my coin collection. But all because of the bed bugs, I found all my stuff. I, I'm, you know, having a break from what I usually do, hanging out with Aaron and my son a lot, and it's great. And plus, I get a change of scenery because I have to stay at the man cave. The thing about vacation is vacation is kind of a, a state of mind, you know? So, like, when we go to the Mexican restaurant, I, I usually say, it's like being on vacation. Or when we 
you know, go and do something like we took a boat ride once and I feel like I'm on vacation because vacation, it's just a state of mind. I did a lot of cleaning and I've got my son here, but we had a lot of fun. <laughs> So we're having a bed bug vacation. <laughs> How's it turning out for you? Very good. The bed bugs don't bite me. I haven't woken maybe they do and I just don't react to it. I don't know, but I haven't woken up with bugs crawling all over me. Neither have I. But then again, I'm I they do bite my son, well our son, but um we just spray him down with neem before he goes to bed and they don't bite. I did this vlog once about how your life is perfect and everything that comes into your life is a gift. So I feel like the bed bugs have been a gift because they made us have a bed bug vacation. <laughs> and and plus, now that I've had bed bugs, I've probably given them to someone else. So they're kind of the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> Just keep passing on and keep re-gifting the bed bugs. So then it gives other people the opportunity to have a bed bug vacation. You don't have to have bed bugs to have a vacation and reconnect with your family and have a break from your routine. But, but the bed bugs have been working for us. I highly recommend it. What do you think? It's good therapy. Bed, bed bug therapy. It's been pretty good for us, I have to say. Who needs a marriage counselor? Who needs a marriage counselor? Just get bed bugs. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess, I guess that's it. So we just wanted to tell you that we have bed bugs. And it's working out pretty well for us. Do you want to add anything? Nope. Aaron's channel, by the way, is Barbarian Rebellion. So go check it out. Alright, well, thanks for listening to us, and we'll see you next time. See you next time.